This man right here has gotten arrested for, I mean, brutalizing a young cat. Like, I don't know if you can still call him a kitten at one year old, but the walls and the floors were spattered with blood and the cat was dead on the living room floor. And then it says that he also admitted to throwing the cat into a tub filled with water. If you look at this other article here, you see that there was even a bone protruding from its leg. You know, this makes me sad because even though I love my guns, I, I love animals too. And I think that there has to be something wrong with your head if you're going to beat a cat. And, and it's because it scratched him. It was his girlfriend's cat. Beat a cat like that. There's something wrong with your head. Okay? So then that's not where it ends. When he goes to court, he apparently gets frustrated with the photographer, April. See her right here? We believe that this is also her picture right there. He takes her and he, he gets charged with harassment because apparently he pushes her. He pushes the photog. So now you have a borderline assault. And this to me demonstrates a temper. So why did I say guns earlier? Because this is why I want to, this is why I want to try to ask people about this. See, this is the guy's Facebook from what I can tell. And, and it's beyond me how someone that does this kind of stuff even has one friend on his friends list. But whatever. Maybe they don't know about it. But this is why I asked this picture. This. I mean, are you f kidding me? This should be a conversation. I believe, and I am all about guns. I own guns. But I, to me, common sense would be that if you show the, the insensitivity to strangle and beat and throw a young animal around your room, and then you get so angry at court that your anger that shows through, and you push a female reporter like that, it's never acceptable to put your hands on a woman like that. And you're going to do that stuff. And I can see in this picture here that there's like shell casings all over the place. So you definitely have access to a lot of firearms. Shouldn't this throw up some kind of warning flag when someone gets arrested for a crime like this and acts in this way? That when he's getting a background check for that pistol right there, if he were to own that gun, that it throws up a warning flag that maybe, maybe he should get a psychiatric evaluation before he's allowed to purchase a handgun. I mean, is that... That's what I want to know to people. It, does that seem like a common sense gun law? Do you think that this guy, after what he did, should just be able to purchase a firearm outright? I think that it should throw a warning flag up somewhere when someone gets arrested for a crime like this. Because there has, I, I think, maybe I'm wrong, but I thought that there were, you know, there, that when you abuse an animal like this, it's it's not a good sign psychology wise like it, you have problems if you would do something like that if you don't have the compassion that you know a one year old cat scratches you and you do that to it, it, it it's just not good from what I know but what do you guys think I'm going to write an article about this about this story about this guy doing this and I want to get people's opinions I'm going to put a poll up so it just seems to me like this is common sense and I own guns and I don't want this guy having a gun anywhere around me